Hope Scope has over 4 million subscribers creating intros like this. I bought nine YouTuber products to test today. Some of these YouTubers you might love and some of these YouTubers you might hate, but they all have one thing in common, brutal one-star reviews on some of their products. Let's recreate her intro to get you on your way to 4 million subs. As always, all of the elements I use in this video are linked in the description below, including a couple sound effects that you're really gonna want. So stop right now and download all these elements so you can follow along. Let's start by dragging this clip of me into the timeline, hit Shift to Z so it fills the timeline, and then we're gonna scale it up a little bit so it's closer to Hope Scope's look and I'm gonna drag me down a little bit so there's a little bit of headroom above me and then I want me a little more centered so right there looks pretty darn good we also want to adjust the levels on this a little bit the audio is pretty good but we're gonna to go to audio and click on loudness normalization and watch all these levels got a little bit better I bought nine YouTuber and to make sure they're about right, we want to click on this audio meter here and we can see the levels more clearly and let's just look and see. I bought nine YouTuber peaking at minus one. We might have to lower that a little bit once we add music and sound effects, but that's a great place to start. Now we're just going to trim this up a little bit. You can see all this dead space here because there's no waveforms. So I'm just going to drag the playhead right to there and hit what letter? Q. And then we're going to get rid of any dead space we have in here. Here's another today. Some of so right there, Command-B or Control-B if you're on a PC. And then to get rid of everything from this playhead, I'm going to zoom in a little so you can see it better. From this playhead to the beginning, we type what letter? The letter Q. Just get in the habit of using the keystrokes. It's going to make you so much faster. We keep playing through it. I know I want to keep this space here. And I want to get rid of this dead space here. Might hate, but... And the reason we're doing this is to make sure there is nothing that's gonna make a viewer want to click off. You gotta keep it moving, especially in your intro. So that's one thing you can learn from Hope's video. It just moves the entire time. Something's always happening. And let's see about this part. But they all have one thing in common. And here's another big space we wanna get rid of the same way, Command B or Control B, and then type letter Q. And notice that it sucks everything over when I do that, and that's because I have the track magnet on. And if I turned it off, then it wouldn't suck it over. And I think that's pretty great for a start, and we don't need anything at the end. We're gonna trim that off. Next, you may recall that Hope had some YouTubers pop up behind her. I made a YouTuber graphic for you. I tried to make it fun. It looks like that. So we're just gonna drop it here at about, I don't know, 20 frames in or so. And you always know where you are because you can see the time code right here. And they're gonna to start to pop up there. And we're gonna have them land at about 120. So we'll just position our playhead at 120. And we're going to set a keyframe here. We want them to land right about there. So I'll go over here to video, basic, position, set a keyframe for position. We're only going to change the position and nothing else. So we're going to go back to the beginning and drag them down to where we want them to start. So it's going to click and drag them down here where I want them to be when they first pop up, maybe down about there. And it looks like this now. Nine YouTuber products to test today. And that looks fine, but they're blocking me. We want them to be in front of me. To get those guys in front of me, all we need to do is duplicate this clip, holding down the Option key on my Mac or the Alt key on a PC. I can click and drag this up and it duplicates it. And now we've got me on top of them, but you can't see these fancy YouTubers. What do we do? Well, there's a cool feature in CapCut that allows you to cut things out. In this case, we don't want to just cut me out. I want the YouTubers behind all of these real products that I actually tested that belong to YouTubers. So I'm going to make sure it's highlighted, jump over to video cutout. This is a pro feature, but you click on customize and you click on this smart brush right here. And then I just brush over all of the things that I want to stay in the frame. So I make this brush just a little bit bigger like that. And I'm just going to draw over the things that I want to keep. And it's a smart brush that knows, oh, I want that person. I want his arm and I want all of this junk over here. And it kind of figured it out pretty quickly. And we'll do that to this side as well. Now this isn't perfect, but it's gonna work for our purposes. Once you have all of the items selected that you want to stay in the frame, we just click apply and then bam, you can tell it's perfect. No, you can't yet. But if I turn this guy off by typing the letter V, I can see that, oh yeah, we can see through me now and having these guys pop up is gonna work great. So now let's have a look at it. Nine YouTuber products to test today. And we can make it a little better maybe by just adding some curves in here so they come up kind of a little cooler. I'm going to right click, choose show keyframe animation. And the only thing we changed was the Y axis, the up and down. So I'm just going to click on the Y, then double click it. And I'm gonna zoom in a little so you can see what's going on. 
click on the keyframes you want to add curves to, which makes it less linear. So instead of like start, stop, it smoothly eases out and then eases into the next keyframe. So I make sure that the keyframe is highlighted and I click this middle guy here. And to get to that first one, it's hard to click on. So I'm gonna hit this left arrow and then click on this guy and right click and hide keyframe animation. And now let's have a look. And YouTuber products to test today. Next, we want to zoom in on the open the way Hope did in her video. And the way we have to do that is to make a compound clip so we can zoom all these guys in at the same time. And then we're going to scale me up a little bit. And notice constant motion. Something's always happening. So I select all these clips. I right click and I choose create compound clip. And then I'm going to jump over to animation choose in and there's an effect called zoom one there's zoom one and zoom two in this case we want zoom one which is right here it's going to double click it i it's, button and it's and it worked it's exactly what hope did it's a little bit longer hers was only like a few frames we're going to take it down to like three frames and we get this i bought not that's perfect the next thing we want to do is scale me up right when these youtubers start popping up i'm going to just click right here set a keyframe under video basic scale and position, it's important to try to keep my eyes in about the same place so it looks professional. If I zoom up and my head starts getting cut off, whatever, it's not gonna look good. So I'm gonna start there and I'm gonna get a little bit bigger by the time we get to this last frame here. And so I'm going to scale up just slightly and then take this down so my head isn't cut off. And we also wanna make sure that the X position is the same because I'm just going up, I'm not going side to side. So to make sure it's the same, we look over here on position. X is at zero here, and in the beginning it's at zero. So that's gonna work. Here we go. And it looks like this. I bought nine. Oh, I noticed something, and I'm showing you this mistake so that you don't make the same mistake. The audio sounds not that great. So what I need to do is undo some of my work, right click and choose undo compound clip, and take the audio down for this guy. Boom because I was duplicating the audio because it was playing this audio track and this audio track. So I'm just gonna right click here choose create compound clip again, and then I'll do all that again, but you don't have to watch this time. Now that I've done all of that again, the audio sounds like this. I bought nine YouTuber products to test today. For the next session, you'll notice that in Hope's video, she was zoomed in quite a bit, and she was going down and then going up slowly. So we're just gonna do the same thing. I'm going to click on this clip where I do that. I'm gonna scale it up quite a bit so there's room for me to move up and down a little bit. And I'm gonna position my face right about here where my head is right near the top of the frame. This is just so we have room to move down a little bit. I'm gonna set a keyframe for position only. And until I get to this middle section, I'll be going down slowly. And this is only just to add a little bit of motion and interest throughout this section of the clip because there's not much else going on. So I'm just gonna go down as much as I can. And then at the end of the clip, I'm going to go to that last frame and then go back up till my head's at the top. It's gonna to be very subtle. With her video, there were horizontal lines, so you could tell that she was going up and down. Here, there's only vertical lines, so it's gonna be really hard to see, but we're just mimicking what she did, and it looks like this. Some of these YouTubers you might love, some of these YouTubers you might hate, but if you'd taken my course, Edit with Trev and Master CapCut, you would already know how to do everything I've shared with you so far. So you should probably take like 10 years off your learning curve and check out my course, Edit with Trev and Master CapCut. There's a link right here, and there's a link in the description below. For the next section, Hope does a little zoom in, zoom out thing. To do that, it's just more keyframing, position, and scale. Remember, a keyframe marks the beginning or the end of a change in a property, a property being scale, the size or position where something is. And keyframes are super important to understand because because they are all over the place in any editing or graphics program. It's kind of the basis of editing, so understand this. So the properties we're gonna change right now are just position and scale again. So I'm gonna set a keyframe for scale right here and position right here. I'm gonna go forward about nine or 10 frames. To go forward 10 frames, I hit shift and the right arrow, and I'm gonna go back maybe two frames, or maybe one frame right there, and I'll set a keyframe for this guy, and then I'm gonna go forward the same. I'm gonna go forward 10 frames, back a frame or two, set another keyframe, for both of these guys here. I might have missed a keyframe here. Did I miss one? Yeah, I missed it. Look at that. You can tell because I'm positioned on it and there's no blue dot here. And all I want to do is get a little bigger here. Just quick pop in, pop out like Hope does, but I want my face to be in about the same place. And I want to make sure that I don't move the X axis. I just want to go up and down. So I'm just going to check all of those keyframes by using these arrows here, just checking position. Oh, there it's at 48. That's not great. How about at the end? 48 zero and 48 again. So I want this guy to be 48 as well. So I'm just gonna type 48 
and I'm gonna make sure that things work from here to here. I hate, but they all have one. That's all we need to do. And what I'm gonna do is, it's just a quick pop in, pop out, so you don't really need to do the uh, curves if you don't want here. You can if you want a different kind of look, but that's all she does right here, bam. If you've learned even one thing in this video so far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and whack the bell. That's how I know that you like these videos. It's literally my only source of self-esteem. For the last section, notice that Hope had one-star reviews behind her. But before we do that, I wanna scale this guy up a little bit, because here it's just a, a jump cut, and if we scale it, it looks a little more natural. So I'm gonna scale this guy up to like 150, just by typing 150 here. And I'm gonna drag me down a little bit so that my head is not touching the top, like that. You'll notice that the x-axis went to 42 because it went side to side a little bit. We want it to remain consistent with the prior clip, which was at 48. So I'm just gonna click on this guy and just type 48 here, bam. And that's about where I want this to be. And now we want to have those stars appear behind me, which is super easy to do. Brutal, one star. So when I say one star, I want the clip to appear. So I'm just gonna click and drag one star down here. And then I'm just gonna go to the end of me speaking and get rid of the rest of this by typing what letter? The letter W, it'll add a cut and delete all of that. And I'm gonna slide over a little bit so this is a little bigger and more centered for you. And Brutal, one star reviews. Well, the one stars are way too big and they're covering my face. So let's drag them up to about here. And then let's go ahead and make me go away. So you can see the stars to do that. I'm gonna option or alt drag this clip of me right here. And I'm going to click on it, make sure it's highlighted, go to cutout. And now auto cutout is at the top. It used to be below. And notice that only human figures can be cut out. That's why we didn't use it in the beginning. So we're gonna cut me out, just the human figure. We don't need to worry about cutting this stuff out. And then bam, it, it magically, it just, it just works. And the stars were scaling up to keep it interesting. So I'm gonna click at the beginning, go to video basic, set a keyframe for what? Just scale. And then I'm gonna to go to the end of this. And usually I can just go to the end and just go back one frame so I can see the keyframe. I'm just gonna scale this up quite a bit so it's kind of visible and it looks like common, brutal one-star reviews on some of their products. <laughs> Next, we're gonna add music, and I found the identical song that Hope Scope used in her video. She found it on Epidemic Sound, which is a paid service for royalty-free music. I use it, it's got great music. A bunch of the top YouTubers use it. If you wanna use it, there's a link for it in the description below, so you get a free trial to check it out. They got like great stuff, way better than any free stuff you're gonna find online, and that way you can avoid copyright claims and strikes with music. So I use Epidemic Sound all the time in most of my videos on multiple channels. So I'm just gonna drag it down here, and I want it to start, I don't know, around frame 11. Hers doesn't start immediately. We'll put it right there at 11. And there's a downbeat right there. And then it sounds like this. I bought nine YouTuber products to test today. And I'm going to turn that down because it's way too loud and it's probably clipping over here. If it goes over zero, that means it's clipping and will distort and sounds terrible. And so now it sounds like this. I bought nine YouTuber products to test today. That's pretty great there. And then she ends it to emphasize the point at the end. One thing in common. Dun, dun. That's a great place to end this because it kind of ends on it uh, and then I'm just going to type the letter what W to get rid of all that stuff and she also had a drum hit and I have a really hard time finding drum hits in CapCut with her free stuff you get them in Epidemic Sound if you have that but I found drum hits that I'm going to give to you there's like 25 of them right here that uh, I stole from Hollywood they won't care and yes you can use them you don't have to worry about copyright or anything like that I'm just going to choose that first one because it turned out to be a pretty good one drag it here Trim it up a little bit. You know all the keystrokes for this stuff, right? I don't need to even tell you anymore. You know, Q and W, and I'm gonna position it right under it because she had it like, dun, dun, poof, and then the drum snare hit. So we'll just do right, well, not a snare, the drum hit. And I just move it back right about here. Can I get back even one more frame? Let's see. Yeah, I can get back one frame. Come on, baby. Dun, dun. I have one thing in common, brutal one. And actually, there's another beat here I don't want. I want the drum hit to be there. So I'm just gonna trim that up. What letter? W. Put this guy right here. And it'll give us a chance to land before I finish that final line there. And this little section sounds like this. One thing in common. Brutal. We have one tiny thing left to do. In the beginning, she has a, a swish. And again, the swishes on CapCut aren't great, but uh, I, gave you, I gave you four Hollywood swishes. I think that last one was closest to what she had. So just gonna drag that guy down here by hitting the plus sign. 
And I'm gonna zoom in on that so you can see what's going on. And I want it to start right at the beginning. So I'm just gonna click and drag this guy over and then have the swish happen as I happen there. I bought none. And, and watch this guys. Watch right here. I bought red. That means it clipped a little bit. Like it wouldn't matter that much because it's just barely, but we're just gonna turn it down a tiny bit. See if we make that clippage go away. I bought nine YouTuber. Bam. And now the greatest video you've ever seen in your life. The final masterpiece, Trevor playing Hope Scope. I bought nine YouTuber products to test today. Some of these YouTubers you might love, some of these YouTubers you might hate, but they all have one thing in common. Brutal one-star reviews on some of their products. <laughs>